Hello and welcome back to the Revitalize a Total Woman podcast where I'm your host, uh, Lakeisha McKnight. Uh, remember, this podcast is the media outlet for the nonprofit here in Virginia that's entitled Women of Elevation Career Services International. With the podcast, we've adjusted our mission with the podcast so that it is in alignment with the nonprofit. Our whole goal is not just to help you to move closer and closer towards achieving total wellness, but remembering that we empower you with the tools to be able to create, relate, and elevate, right? And so we're definitely still in alignment with helping you to create. And so this week, we're focusing in specifically this week on helping you to create a healthy diet. Now, I, by far, I am not a nutritionist. I am not a doctor, but this is based on experience, based on observation that I know that there are certain things that work and certain things that we need to be doing. And so I want to talk about that today. And of course, I'll talk about that tomorrow as well. So you want to join with me? Come on, let's talk about it. Now, let's face it. Really, at the beginning of every year, many people have New Year's resolutions, right? They want to lose 10, 15 pounds. So of course, the gyms are packed for the first two, three weeks, maybe month. And the next thing you know, it begins to taper off, fade away. And many people are not in the gyms anymore. They're back to eating their pound cake and ice cream. But let's let's face it, if we really want to have a healthy diet, we must shift our thinking and that's where it begins. So let's talk about that. How do you think about food, right? How do you think about dieting? I want to challenge you to shift your thinking from not thinking about a diet, which can sometimes mean something temporary. I want you to shift it to lifestyle. So not only are you having a healthy eating diet, but it's really a lifestyle because you want to change the way you eat for a lifetime. Do you get it? A lifetime. And so that just had me thinking. I was traveling today and and I said, you know what? I really want a salad. I could have easily gone to a restaurant and got me a salad, but I said, you know what? I want to create me a salad. So I went and in the market, fresh market, and I began to pick up some things. I got me some fresh greenery, right? Some baby spinach. I got me some carrots, some tomato, right? I got me some dried cranberries. I had me some balsamic vinaigrette dressing, some croutons. You know, I even added, of course, a few other things, granola, I added some almonds. Oh my gosh, the salad was so, I had blueberries and even apples, chopped up apples and tomatoes in my salad. It was really nice and, you know, colorful, right? And very healthy, very healthy. I had the protein from the nuts. I had the veggies, you know, things like this. And in my mind, I knew that what I wanted to do, and this is started with a thought. In my mind, I knew We as a people, we need to eat healthy to live instead of living to eat. We don't realize it, but sometimes we don't intentionally plan what we want to eat and intentionally plan to eat healthy. We're living to eat instead of eating and focusing on what we eat so that we can truly live So I'm going to challenge you today. The first strategy in having a healthy eating lifestyle and diet really is all about shifting your mindset from a diet to a lifestyle and realizing that you're really here to eat to live instead of living to eat. Focusing and being intentional about what you're eating and what you're putting in your body because you only you only get one body in this lifetime. So we have to take care of it. So it starts first with your mindset. That salad, by the way, was really good and I still have a whole lot left over and I'm going to have even more, right? I plan I might even have some tonight, you know, even so, some more or maybe even tomorrow. Who knows? But I'm going to continue to make a salad. I'm going to, this is going to be a lifestyle for me. And I'm going to talk about, of course, some other tips and strategies that you can implement um, that will help you go forward with having a healthier uh, lifestyle, physical lifestyle, So we're going to get more into it. I'm going to talk about what you, you know, some things that you can eat. I'm going to talk about, you know, things that you can do to maintain health, you know, based on my experience. Okay. And things that actually made me feel good and motivated me to move closer towards my fitness goals. Okay. But thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, of course, I'm here to help you help you right by empowering you with the tools to be able to create, relate and elevate. That's not a cliche. 
But that's what I'm truly here to help you be able to do. And remember, we do have a telesummit going on that's completely free. When you go to the createtelesummit.com, you will be able to get the conference line details for the phone. Join us on the phone line starting tonight at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be on the phone line and another one of my guests will be on the phone line tonight actually sharing information about how you can have a business on the go. So you definitely want to join in and be a part of that. It's a, it's a telephone workshop and it's completely free. All right. So hopefully I'll see you on the phone line tonight. Thank you so much for listening and be blessed.